and welcome to Bottoms Down, Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm glad you've joined us today. You made it. It's day 16 of our 28-day Chair Yoga journey. We're going to start seated and we'll move into a standing pose, including downward facing dog. Then we're going to move back into seated. Now, if you like this experience, please click the subscribe button. It's free and leave a comment. Let's get started. So we're going to sit up nice and tall in our chair. We're moving forward. We're not leaning back. We're going to take our feet and ground them to the earth. This is our time that we connect that mind and body and breath, right? Ground those sits bones onto the chair. Make sure they're equally weighted. Lift your heart. Lower your shoulders out of your ears. Place your hands lightly on the thighs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling. Close your eyes and just breathe. So we're just connecting to that breath. And with each inhalation, I want you to think about making the spine a little longer. As you inhale, think about lengthening through the spine. And maybe a deeper breath. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intentions for today's practice. One more breath here. Bring your hands down to your thighs, open your eyes, and moving on. We're going to take our shoulders and we're going to shrug them up into our ears. And then we're going to bring them back. And then we're going to bring them down. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to shrug up into the ears and bring them back and down. One more time. Shrug up. Bring them back and down. All right, very, very good. I just like, I'm just gonna move my head a little side to side, just a little neck stretch there. It feels good to me. All right, so let's go ahead and just let our left ear fall towards our left shoulder and just kind of hang out here for a moment and feel that stretch. And then we're gonna bring the head up and then we're just gonna do the other side. So just a little stretch there for that neck. Now let's look up just slightly, a little bit of openness through the throat. Look forward and then let's just let the head fall for a moment. And release. Okay, excellent. So we're going to move into a goddess pose series and add in some shoulder dips. So we'll do a heel and a toe, heel, toe. So you want those feet to be pretty wide, all right? So at least the width of the chair legs. I prefer if you can get a little bit wider and feel comfortable. But let's make sure we don't let the knees fold in. So if you need to bring the feet in a little bit more to keep the knees in alignment, I would prefer you to have the feet in and keep those knees in alignment. Okay, does that make sense? Good deal. So we're going to take our right shoulder first. We're going to hold on to those thighs and we're going to let that right shoulder just dip down between our legs. Should feel pretty good. Okay, then we're going to come up and now we're going to do the other side. So we're just going to let that left shoulder, it just kind of dips down between those knees. See how I'm, when I'm kind of, it's a little bit of a twist if you will, just a gentle one here though. And then up we go. Okay, let's do that again one more time, just like that, to get a feel of it before we add on. So we're gonna let that shoulder dip down. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little sideways. My abdominals are tight here. Feeling a little stretch through the shoulder. Up we go, and let's do the other side. And up we go. Okay, so the add-on here I'm going to go ahead and drop my shoulder down. Now, I want you to take this hand, so this is my right shoulder is dropping down. Take your right hand, and I want you to push on the inside of that right knee. 
So I'm pushing my knee open wider. I'm feeling a little more of a stretch in the groin. I've got a stretch in the side waist and the shoulder. I don't know what, what you're feeling, but that's what I'm particularly feeling. And it feels good. And let's come up. Ha! Ready for the other side? Let's drop that shoulder down and let's push. Just getting a little extra stretch in there. One more breath and up we go. Let's do that one more time. Ha! Ah, it just feels good. And up we go. Last one. Shoulder dips. Push against that inner thigh. Feel that stretch. And release. Let's heel toe those feet back in together. How's that feel? Ha! Ah, a little stretch there for the groin and the side waist. It feels good to me. So we're going to move into an extended mountain pose and then from that mountain pose we're going to come into staff pose. So let's extend our mountain first. Shoulders are down, belly is tight, fingertips to the ceiling, right? We've done this one, we know this one well. Okay, so now what I want you to do is you're going to bring your thumbs right under the arms and I want you to lift up. This is a pose that looks pretty simple. But when you feel it and do it with, with uh, intention, really, it really has an impact. So I'm lifting up, right? Belly is tight. Now, I want you to maintain this extended, this lift. Let go and bring your hands to the chair, staff pose. One more breath and release. Did you feel that? <laughs> How that lifts? Okay, let's do it again. We're going to come up to extended mountain. Lengthen nice and long. Shoulders are down out of the ears. All right, are we ready? Bring your hands right under the uh, arms, lift up, and release. Hands to the chair, don't release the extension, just release the hands from under the arms. One more breath, and release. Last time, let's do it, extend. Shoulders are down. Hands under the arms, lift up, belly tight. Ready? We're going to release under the, the hands under the arms, place them on the chair, staff pose, and release. Again, you watch somebody do that and you think, yeah, whatever, until you do it and then you really feel what's happening there. So the next series is something that's going to really focus in on those abdominals, okay? So I have moved forward in my chair quite a bit, okay? Now, I want you to lean all the way back. So I'm resting on the back of my chair and I'm going to cross my arms at chest. Your feet are staying on the floor, knees are bent. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're going to lift up. Do not let those feet come up off the floor. Inhale, we're going to come back. Now, we're not going to rest. We're going to touch the back of that chair, but we're not resting. And then exhale, we're going to come up. And let's do that again. Back we go. And up we go. And back. Are you feeling your abdominals working here? And up. Two more. Back. Rest. Do not rest. I'm sorry. Touch. Do not rest. And up. Last one. We got this. And release. Okay. So it's a great diversion. And if you want to stick with that version, go for it. If you want a little add-on with me, we're going to bring our hands back behind our head. Elbows are back, okay? So the elbows aren't coming forward. They're staying back. And I'm not pulling on my head. The head is just resting lightly in the palms of my hands. All right, are we ready? Inhale, back we go. Touch the chair, don't rest. Exhale, up we go. Do you feel the difference, right? Inhale, back. Keeping those feet down. Exhale, up. Inhale back, exhale up. We got a few more. Back we go, up we go, back, and up. Can we do one more? Back, and up. <laughs> All right. <sighs> you feel that? So now we're going to do just a little bit for those oblique muscles. So I'm going to take my right leg and I'm going to extend it long. Bring your hands to your heart and you're going to twist and maybe that left elbow comes down towards the seat of the chair. It doesn't have to touch. And then you're going to come up and bring that knee in. And then we're going to go to the other side. 
extending the leg, twisting, elbow towards the seat of the chair, and up we go. Let's do the other side. Twist, and up, other side, twist, and up, again, twist, and up, last one, last side, we've got this, twist, and up, and release. So a little oblique work there, did you feel that? Yeah, right? Okay, so we're gonna do a crescent lunge today, which we've done before, but we're gonna do a little add-on to our crescent lunge. So we're gonna take this right knee and open it. We've done this one, we know it, right? Left knee is gonna fall down towards the floor. We know this one too. Push that foot back. Okay, so we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. Take your hands up to the ceiling. Now, starting with your left arm, you're gonna windmill around to face me. You're going to take the hands up to the ceiling and then you're going to windmill around to face the back of your chair and then you're going to take the hands to the ceiling you're going to come to goal post arms squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you looking up slightly fingertips back to the ceiling bring the hands back down to the chair and release okay now let's do the other side like that before we add on so let's go ahead and we're going to take the left knee and open it right knee falls down towards the floor push the foot back bring your hands to heart so remember i'm up on those back toes i'm feeling a pretty good stretch on the front side of that back leg okay are we ready hands to the ceiling here we go we're going to windmill to face me and hands to the ceiling windmill and face the other way and hands to the ceiling Go post arms, squeeze your shoulder blades behind you, look up, hands to the ceiling, bring the hands down and release. Okay, very, very good. So now, the little bit of that, well, it's not a little bit, it's quite a big add on, but let's do it. So we're gonna take this right knee and open it. We're gonna let that left knee fall down towards the floor. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scoot out just a little bit Hold that chair and let your hips come off of the chair. Oh yeah, there we are. You feel that? So hold that chair for right now, get your balance. Remember, belly tight, abdominals are gonna help your balance. Lifting up through those pelvic floor muscles. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna bring our hands to heart. Exhale as you bring your hands to the ceiling. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna turn and face me, hello. Hands to the ceiling. Now you're going to turn and face over your chair. Hands to the ceiling. Go post arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Look up. Belly tight. Hands back to the ceiling. Bring your hand to the chair. Slip your hips back on and face forward. <laughs> How'd you do on that one? I know it's challenging. I'm giving you some challenge today. Okay, let's do the other side. So we're going to open that left knee first, right? Let the right knee fall down. Scoot out. Now, if you feel like you want to give it a try, you're going to slip your hips off of that chair. We're going to pull that belly in. We're going to bring our hands to heart. Bend that front knee, right? Okay, extend those arms up. Now we're going to windmill and face me. Hands to the ceiling. Windmill and face over your chair. Hands to the ceiling. Go post arms. Squeeze those shoulder blades behind looking up. One more breath. And release. Slip your hips back on that chair. <sighs> and face forward. <laughs> Take a moment here. You feeling okay? I know that one was challenging. Okay, we're going to come to standing on the right side of our chair. Now, again, you're going to be standing on the right side of the chair and you're, we're going to first come into a, a mountain pose and then we're going to lean our mountain and we're going to do a little balance by lifting our leg off the floor as we lean, okay? So let's start by just bringing our hands to heart. You're going to want to have those feet a good solid hip distance apart, all right? So you want some space between those feet. 
Let's bring our hands to our heart. Okay, now we're gonna come up into extended mountain, palms are together, interlace your fingers, pointer finger is up to the ceiling. Now we're gonna lean our mountain towards our chair. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna lean our mountain away from our chair. And we're gonna come up and we're gonna lean our mountain one more time towards our chair. And then this time, if you want, we're gonna lift that right leg up off the floor, just a little bit, right? Maybe the toes stay down, maybe the toes don't. One more breath here, we're gonna come back up to standing and we're gonna bring our hands down. Okay, let's do the other side. So we're gonna start with the weight, with our feet about hip distance apart, right? And we're gonna bring our hands to heart. We're gonna come all the way up to that ex mountain pose, extended mountain, interlace fingers, point your finger to the ceiling. We're gonna lean in towards our chair. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna lean away from our chair. Now we're gonna come up, let's lean towards our chair again. And up, lean away from the chair. I know, we're about to add that leg lift, are we ready? Okay, here we go, let's lean towards our chair. Now you're gonna lift this leg up. Remember, you can have toes on the floor if that feels better for you, or you can lift that foot up for a little extra balance work, belly tight. One more breath, bring the foot in, bring the hands up and arms come down. <laughs> All right, very good. Did that feel okay? It's a little work on that balance, right? A little standing balance pose there. Okay, so we're gonna move into a downward facing dog. Uh, we'll start with our downward facing puppy. Now here's the thing, it's really important that your chair is on carpet or maybe it's on a, like a yoga mat, like a sticky mat. What I want you to think about is pressing down on that chair, not out. So I don't want the chair to slide out from under you, okay? So first is better, the best thing is it's being on carpet or a sticky mat. The second best is making sure you're pressing down and not out, okay? So we wanna do that anyway. We wanna press down, not out anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna take a step away from my chair. So it's not a huge step, just a, a little step away. Now I'm gonna begin hinging right at the hips, right? And then I'm gonna bring my hands into the seat of the chair and I'm gonna bring my weight forward. Okay, so we're gonna start with a downward puppy. And so what I'm gonna do now is instead of my hands being on my palms, I'm gonna bring them down onto my forearms. Are you feeling your back stretching already? Let's go ahead and take another step back, not a big one, another step back. Remember, you're pressing down, not out. Then I want you to push your hips back behind you. My heart falls. I'm looking down, if that feels okay on your neck, right? So we're not keeping the head up. We're letting the head come down. You should be feeling a quite a stretch through the back side of the body. My hips are high, my heart is falling. I'm gonna take three more breaths here. Another breath here. And last breath. Okay, so as we come out of it, I want you to bend your knees, step forward, then hold that chair and roll up. Okay, so how did that feel? Now, if you want to stick with downward facing puppy, if you like it better on your forearms, that's absolutely fine. If you want to try it on your palms, that's another version, right? So, in, in, and both of them are great. So let's take a step back first, okay? Remember, we're hinging at our hips, coming forward, placing your hands on the seat of the chair, bringing the weight forward. So my shoulders are over my wrist. And then if you're coming down, your shoulders are still over your elbows here, okay? So the weight comes forward. All right, are we ready? We're gonna lift our hips high. We're gonna push our heart back. I'm gonna take one more step back just for me. If you don't wanna take a step back, that's okay. But when I'm gonna let my heart fall forward. Oh yeah, 
and I'm feeling that pretty significant stretch in the back side of the body. My belly is tight. I have one more breath here and I'm going to bring my weight forward and I'm going to step forward, step forward and roll it up. Okay. Now we're going to add two things on and remember you don't ever have to add on. But the first thing we're going to do, if you will peek at me real quick, we're going to be in our down dog, right? So then I'm going to take a hand off the chair and I'm going to bring it to my heart. And then I'll put it down and then I'll do the other side. Then I'm going to take a leg up for a three-legged dog and I'm going to put it down and then I'll do the other side and put it down, okay? So don't do them if you don't want to. It's okay. You can just stick with your down dog or your down puppy if you don't want to add on. All right, but if you're with me, here we go. Ha! <sighs> I'm going to hinge forward, right? I'm going to place my hands in that chair and I'm going to step back. I'm going to let my heart fall forward, my hips go high, sinking down into your downward facing dog or puppy. Okay. So here I am in my down dog. My heart is lower, is, is kind of between my arms. My, I'm feeling that stretch. I'm going to release the chair from with my right hand and I'm going to touch my heart. It doesn't matter which one you do first. We're going to do both. Then we're going to bring that hand back to the chair. We're going to release and touch the other hand, uh, the other hand to the heart, and release. Okay, are we ready for three-legged dog? Here we go. One leg lifts up for three-legged dog. Belly tight. One more breath. Bring that foot back to the floor. Lift the other foot up for that three-legged dog. Bring that foot down. Step forward and roll up into a standing position. <laughs> All right, how did that feel? Did that feel pretty good? I like down dog, I think that's a good one. Maybe not all the add-ons, right? You're like, we could have just stuck with down dog, but okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do, again, that chair is on that carpet or on that uh, sticky mat, or make sure you're pressing down, not out. We're gonna take our leg next to the back of the chair and I'm gonna bring that foot up into the chair. So hold on, okay? Now, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna take this step, I'm gonna uh, take a step back with this leg. So I'm gonna bring my foot back down, I'm gonna take a step back and then I'm ready. And I'll tell you why I did that. But I want this knee to stay behind those toes. And so I just kinda of needed, I, I needed that, uh, this foot to be back just a little bit. So kind of see what works for you. Take a moment here. I want you to have this foot in the chair, but we're gonna push forward. And as we push our hips forward, I wanna make sure this knee stays behind those toes, okay? So kind of find what works for you. Okay, are we ready? So we're gonna start in pyramid pose though. So we're gonna straighten the front leg first, holding that chair, toes come up, and I'm gonna hinge forward. So there's my pyramid pose. So there's the back side of that leg, right? You feel that? We're hanging out here. We've got a straight leg, so don't bend the knee. We tend to, you know, I know people want to bend the knee so they can get the heart lower. I'd rather you keep the leg straight. Doesn't matter how far the heart comes down, but the minute you bend the knee, you've disengaged part of that hamstring. And so we want that whole muscle set to stretch. Okay, now let's come forward. I'm gonna push my hips forward and there's a version of crescent lunge. Do you feel that stretch here? <laughs> I know, me too. Oh my goodness, right? Ah! Okay, let's do that again, pyramid pose. Toes to the ceiling, let that heart fall forward. Feeling that stretch in the back of that leg Okay, let's come forward, pyramid, I mean, uh, uh, crescent lunge. Oh man, that feels good. Pushing those hips forward, getting that stretch right here. My heart is lifted. I'm breathing, I'm not holding my breath. And release, excellent work. Okay, let's go to the other side. So now, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to take that little step back and then I'm going to bring that foot up. 
just, you know, you know where, where we're headed with this now, so make sure that knee's gonna be behind those toes when you push forward. Okay, so let's start in pyramid. I'm holding my chair. I'm gonna straighten this front leg. My toes are up to the ceiling. Hold on, let that heart fall forward. So here's the other thing you might find, this side more willing than the other, or less willing. So common. This is my less willing side. Okay, that's why I mentioned it, because I was like, oh boy. All right, so now I'm gonna bend that knee, and I'm gonna push my hips forward. Oh yeah. So again, making sure you're pushing down, right? So we don't wanna be pushing away with that chair. We want that, even though my weight's coming forward, I still want that foot pushing down. Okay, let's come back, pyramid pose again. And forward, crescent lunge. One more time, pyramid pose. Inhale to prepare, exhale, letting that heart fall forward. And crescent lunge. One more breath and release. All right, let's come back to seated pose. Well, it's not really a pose, it's just coming back to seated. <laughs> Hear what I mean, not what I say. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna move into pigeon pose. So remember, you've got options. You can leave this left leg right where it is and you can cross your right ankle over to that other ankle, right? So you, you're ankle to ankle. Or if it feels okay, you can do ankle to knee. So just feel what feels good for, for you, what works for you, but this is the area of the body we should be feeling stretching back into that hip and glute area. Let's extend nice and long through the spine. Begin to let that heart fall forward. Go ahead and tuck your chin, roll it up, and then I want you to just move this knee a little bit up and down. So really it's for the hip, so right? We're moving that hip joint a little. Okay, let's extend through the spine. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna let the heart fall forward, and maybe you press gently on that leg. You don't have to, it's just an option. And up we go, and let's move that leg up and down a little. Last time, let's do it. Come forward. Now, another option you can do is bring your arms out first and then let them fall down towards the floor. That's another good stretch. If that feels good, do this one. If this one feels better, doesn't matter. They're all really good. Okay, we gotta do the other side. So remember, if you wanna do that ankle to ankle, then that's a great version. You just stay right here. You'll still do all the you know, the, lip, the heart forward. But if you want to do ankle to knee, then that's another option. Okay, so we're hanging out here for just a moment. Let's just kind of the, let the body settle into the pose. And then when we're ready, extend the spine nice and long and begin to let that heart fall forward. And then we're going to tuck that chin and roll it up. And then we're gonna do that again. Nice long spine. If you wanna press gently on that leg, you can. <sighs> hold that, hold the movement, not the breath, right? We're breathing, just a natural. Inhale and exhale here, feel that stretch. And up we go. Let's move that knee a little bit up and down. And then the final version, if you like it, you can come actually up and out, and then hands down. Just one more breath here. All right, let's all come back up to seated. Put your feet on the floor. Go ahead and lean back. Moving into Shavasana pose, hands resting lightly on the thighs. Flip the palms up to the ceiling. Inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, close your eyes and feel yourself just melting into the chair.
Early start. Early morning holds the power of the whole day ahead. Welcome that power. Embody it. Make use of it. A good night's rest has refreshed your senses and transformed yesterday's challenges into today's strength. Early morning introduces that new strength to the new day of opportunities. Start early with the day, invigorated by the prospect of working through new challenges. As the day brightens, feel your effectiveness grow. While the day's possibilities still seem endless, seize firmly upon some of them. This is an ideal time to do what matters, to do what satisfies your desires to make a difference. Join in eagerly as the world comes to life. Celebrate and appreciate all over again the wonder that stretches out in every direction. Give yourself the advantage of an early start. Tap into the early morning magic that dances before your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with the hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug, pressing the right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look out just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Ah, very well done, my fellow Bottoms Downies. We've made it to the end of day 16. Please keep showing up. Click on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I'll see you tomorrow.